Okay, the homework is there, but I just wanted to show you two other options. So what if I had this instead? So say I had 10, 25, and I had the 20, say I had that opposite side, and I didn't have the adjacent side. So what if this was our x? Again, this was the correct answer, and the same was if we didn't have it. Okay, say our x was here. That's probably right in the middle of the glare. So what if our x is in the denominator? How would you solve for x here? Because it's going to be cases where it is in the denominator. Did you divide 20, sir? Um, if we divide by 20, so don't copy this out. We still have x in the denominator. So good guess. You could do that and then do something after that. I don't want to do it that way. That is an option. Uh, multiply by x on both sides, then divide by 10, 25. Good. So what we do is let's get x out of the denominator. But I'm going to show you a shortcut. So we're going to multiply by x to get it out of the denominator. So we have x 10, 25 equals 20. And then you can divide by 10, 25. Because this is multiplication. So then you'll get x equals 20 divided by 10, 25. Okay? This one you do not need to do the inverse because you have the angle. You have the angle. Okay, so that would be your option. Okay, but I'm going to show you a, the trick for this one. This is the trick I teach people. Just switch these. Just swap places. So switch the x in 1025. It works. Okay, so if you just swap them, you get it. Okay, and the last one. What if I don't have an angle? Let's see. I have this. Say I'm looking for my angle. Because there'll be some cases it tells you to find the angle. Okay, what do you do here? So I want to get the angle by itself. What do we always do when we're looking for an angle? The inverse. Good. So anytime you're looking for the angle, we're looking for an angle, we're going to inverse this. We got to cancel the sign. So go to the other side, and when you do that, it becomes inverse. Okay? Only when you're looking for the angle. When you're looking for the angle, bring the sign over, it becomes inverse. And if you do a sign of one half, what do you get? Is it 30 or 60? You want to do it? 30. 30 degrees, yeah. So it becomes 30 degrees. Okay? So that's your homework there. Page 280. Again, crucial lesson. One to four. For five, just do I, three I, six, eight, 11, 15. Most of these, like the first few questions, just plug the stuff into your calculator. Okay, then it becomes solve some triangles, and then we'll get to some word problems. Can you guys see it from there? Just on the video here.